Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is gonna be my first um iPhone review um of the series. Um, I am planning to do um about one or two iPhone review every week for either uh, my weekly Seattle League games or uh, uh, any you know, notable tourney games. So yeah, let's just get started. Um, so the goal here is to take first place, of course, and um. We're playing under um, 30k um, Akanashi, which is no red five. Um, yeah, and um, there's no flying, there is no um, bust, and um, dealer continues even when you're first place in uh, South Four. So let's just get started. Um, so I started the South seat. Um, Dora's a uh, three man. Um, just play this out. Pretty standard. Uh, throw. Let me let me just um, speed it up a little. So I'm gonna mainly focus on my own um, hand. So let's just close that up as well. Um, if I see any um, notable um, decision making here. I'll let you guys know. Here, as you guys see, um, a very early rating coming out from me. Um, Turn three, not much to say. It's a uh, man weight on a four seven soul. Um, skip ahead here. Um, I just eventually small it. So that first round was just gonna be a uh, reach hit small. Um, second round going to um this game. Um, I start off with one Dora and a pair of whites. Um, get rid of um you know other people's seat win first. Uh, me being a dealer means that I definitely I want to be pushing this hand um, a lot more aggressive than I usually would be. So, uh, just gonna, yeah, I go ahead and pawn the white here. Um, not too big of a deal. So here I draw another Dora, okay. So here is where I'm going to be making a decision. Um, what am I going to cut? So look at my hand. I have door two white. Um, oh, I just accidentally just pressed it. But here I actually choose to cut the four ping. Reason being that um, this game is about making a manga hand because up till um, four hand, your hand value is, will always double. And after that, um, after two more hand, will only go up by one point five times the value. So up till four hand, it's very valuable that you try to make that uh, four hand hand. So keeping this hot instead of the four ping will give me a really good chance of making that. So uh, instead of you know going for pure efficiency and then see if I can draw something near the four ping. As we keep going, um, let's just smoky that. Uh, looks like I did pwn the six man here. Um, now here I choose to cut the hot because I'm um. I'm um, Ishanten. I'm um, one away from Tempai, and um, getting anywhere near um, these two tiles will be great at this point. I uh, care about the efficiency a lot more going into um, like one away from Tempai because from uh, Ishanten to Tempai is like the hardest uh, in terms of efficiency. So you want to be as efficient as possible rather than reading for the value. Also, a hot suit coming out from my Shimocha, meaning that I probably want to be cutting it myself at this stage. So. Go ahead and uh, the five man, which is a little more efficient. Six months are out, so it's not necessarily the best deal. Um, I actually managed to cheat the four, four soul, I believe. Yeah, here, uh, cheat the four soul, toss the five man, um, take the middle three soul weight. It's not the best weight, but again, as a dealer, I want to be playing a lot more aggressively. I'm just skip ahead and just, I just get my weight. Um, great. Moving on to the next round. Um, right now, I'm, um. In for a very big lead here, um, so definitely I want to be keep pushing. I don't want to be easing up from them. I want to be uh, pushing my advantage even harder here, at least try to. So here, um, instead of uh, you know, actually you can go back here a little bit. Um, so here I actually choose to cut the six month. Reason being that I was also looking into a Hongzhu potentially. If I manage to stack the South or the Haku. Go ahead and cut the two three man and then cut the Dora. Um in order to secure at least um uh, a three hand hand with a Haku Hongzu potentially. So again I'm trying to make big hands, I'm not looking at pure value. And draw the east, keep the double east for myself instead of the nan, which is uh, the south. That was um cut two times in the river. Um 
here I'm looking into more into efficiency now since I like looking like my again my hand is Yishanten and I know at this point that like since I completed a two four two three four sequence that I'm not gonna be going into a Hointon shape. So I decided to instead um keep the Dora and then um keep the one soul as well, see if I can make um efficient um play. Here I draw some soul, decide to cut the one soul because the three soul gave me to tempo anyways with a better weight. So I don't need the one soul necessarily. So here I draw into Tempai, so I just decided to cut the Summon Ping to Richie. Even though it's a Dora, um, because we got Tempai on a three-sided weight, decided it's a good weight, um, so I just decided to reach here. Again, very good start. Um, as a nice soul comes out from my Shimochiao here, kind of cheap, but we take it. So now we're in 10k lead. Um, again, we're not easing up. There's no way we're easing up. Um, but this time, I'm looking into more into efficiency here. I do want to keep the 4-soul, just because a 2-soul is a Dora here. Um, always keep the tile near the Dora, if possible, so that when you draw the Dora, you don't regret it, necessarily. Um, so as we keep cutting here, draw the 7, complete the 7-8-9 sequence. Um, again, just smoky this. Um, again, I kept the 4-soul for the greed. Um, you don't necessarily have to keep the four soul, but now that I draw six mon, six mon is interesting because a five mon draw will um, give me give, give me a very big boost in terms of um, a potential it and a three sided weight. So definitely value that a little more. Um, but here actually I choose to cheat the six soul. Um, it's quite interesting decision here because um, I I'm also seeing the Sanshoku chance here. So if I cheat the six soul here. Plus nine man, I have a um, chance to complete the six, seven, eight um, sequence. We don't want to do that is because looking at everybody else's river, that's actually um, everybody just tossing about middle tiles. I'm guessing people are either Ishanten or very close to Tempai or making a very big hand. Anyhow, um, and it looks like Shimocha does pawn a west, which is not his win. So I'm guessing he is uh, Hoi Tzu. Just. Keep that in mind and um, probably decide to not toss out any more uh, Pingzu as I draw them. Um, here, um, I was actually uh, reflecting on it. Um, so, Tuyman declared Richie at this point. Um, the 9 man. I, I could have just cut the, uh, the 2 man here and um, see if I can get more Tempai. But at, at the moment, I, I thought, like, um, since, you know, Tuyman declares Richie and the Shimocha has already declared the 9 ping. So, even if I keep Tempai right now, um, let's say if I draw any other dangerous tile, I will have to force it to be tossed to the south anyways. Might as well just be tossing it now, and then just confirm myself for the Tan Yao as well, right? Because I have a 3-sided weight on the 2 5 8 mon, as well as like the, the 7 ping which gets me into Tempai here. So I toss the south, and I toss another one. Um, the one soul, note that one soul is not 100% safe, but... Um, here I decided to toss a 2 ping because it's a Suji to a, a tile that my Shimocha just, just discarded. So it's it's a fair push. Um, and here I draw into Tempai. Um, now there are choices to wait on this one soul here, which um, at the moment I didn't really consider all that much. Um, because of the 3 sided weight, but after as soon as I toss it, I realized that I am actually um, in 3 10 because of the early um, 8 month that I tossed earlier, so definitely a little tricky. I mean, I could have just tossed two man and then just wait on this uh, one soul, no problem. But this is not the worst choice. And I c of course, I couldn't roll on the two, two man. So now, uh, for sure, we drew the Dora and we don't want to be tossing the Dora ever. So we toss um, two man. Um, another two ping push. It doesn't look like three man deals in. Um, I'm going to actually turn off the deal in tile here. Um, just, that, just so that it doesn't really distract us. Um, again, this is actually a very interesting hand as well. Sometimes when, you, um, when you're just starting and um, you don't have a set direction, you want to be thinking, where do I want to do this game, right? So here I see a potential uh, Chanta and or um, a Jungchang here uh, with a potential Sanshuku on the 789. So I decided to just cut the floating uh, wind tiles. And because I'm no longer east, seat, my first cut was um, definitely the east. And into the white, and we want to keep our south wind, which is the north, the pay. Um, here I draw three pay. Now I have to decide whether I want to keep it for efficiency. I actually decided to cut it because I want to, um, um, again, like make a 
better hand than just a, you know, a, a two nomi. So uh, a Chanta will go a long way here. Um, and I'm keeping, you know, a pair of two handy. I don't have to pawn it if I were to go Chanta. So that was a consideration there. Um, moving forward, draw another efficient tile. You said I should keep the north. Here, I know that all my blocks are fixed. Five blocks. And if I draw another north, I can actually potentially toss out the 7, 8, or the 1, 3. Um, for more value even. Like, and a guarantee um, a shampoo with a Yaku. So, it's looking pretty delish. But here, um, actually, uh, what happens is I draw the 6. Which is actually very unfortunate. Because I don't get a lock on uh, my um, Chanta. So, I decided to wait, like, one turn. Um... Here's also where I have to think about whether I want to pawn a two or not, right? Because I already tossed a three ping, so and Kamicha pawns it, and does look like Kamicha is pushing for his hand as well. Um, he draw the five ping, so I was like, okay, what to do here? Um, I actually declare Richie here because um, the five ping um, being a smoky Richie. Um, one is I know Kamicha is not gonna fold most likely, so I want to be applying pressure to Kamicha. Two is um, um, a Suji bait um, of the five pin, with, which is a two pin, will surely um, bait people into tossing the two pin, which I know Twayman doesn't need that tile. So let's go ahead and fast forward. A um, little bit of a spoiler. Unfortunately, um, I believe I don't win this one. Um, after reach is like just not much of a decision making. Um, a dama from my Shimocha um, on Tanyao Nomi. Well, I mean, it's not the worst loss. Yeah, after Richie, it basically just comes down to half a lock, half um, other people's decision making, whether you um, similar or wrong or not. So, um, here I start off with a not so great of a high pie here. Um, so, I'm just gonna cut by efficiency. Here, I, draw, I see I draw, draw the 17, which means like I know I can't go for a regular men's 10 hand, um, like a 5 block. Um, Hand. So I'm just gonna cut like um, from the least valuable win to the most valuable win. Mm, cut the nan, which is um, two of them are out, and then um, cut the tune here. Um, definitely want to be holding on to the door for a bit. Um, this is an interesting decision. I decided to cut the nine man uh, because I actually see from this hand, I actually see a uh, tiny potential. And um, I want to be keeping these two tiles so that I can just like pwn them and then just get an easy one Yaku and move the round along. Since um, I am, um, you know, I'm still, I'm not the top person, but I'm still second place. So I do want to be winning with a faster hand. Also looking at uh, other people. So again, um, if, if Chayman and the Shimocha reaches any time, it wouldn't be strange at all because looking at their discards. Um, but here I do decide to keep the 2 ping because it does have a, a little more potential than a 9 man to um, get um, neighbor tiles. Mm, interesting. Okay. Um, so, I probably have to guess what I'm thinking is I want to be confirming the time out here. Um, or um, a pair of uh, Dora tiles. So I just go ahead and cheat uh, the Sanzo here. The 3 sticks. Um, toss out the 2 ping after I toss the 5 ping. I want to hold the door for a bit just because it's my own self win. Um, does look like a reach comes out. Um, actually, I, I remember at this stage, I was a little panicked, a little spooked, but um, I decided to go with a nine, just a Tsumogiri 9 ping. Um, it, out of all the tiles I have, it is uh, the most safe. So, I had to cut it over the Dora North. So here, Simon Man comes down instead of pony. Of course, I'm just gonna um, give up. I was Liang Shanten, and uh, a, a two Shanten hand, you should just um, most likely just fold a lot, lot uh, most of the time. So just let him simo, it's fine. Moving on. Um, here, I actually decided to discard the 9 ping first. Again, um, I'm a player that values uh, Wind Tao quite a lot. And then the 9 ping, if I draw anything here, It'll only make me into a very, uh, very, uh, hand with a very weird shape. So I just decided to cut the 9 ping. Cause I'd rather draw any of the wind tiles over than, um, anything near the 9 ping. Um, I do get punished slightly here, uh, as you'll see. Um, again, cutting east, cause I'm not the dealer. Um, two, uh, keeping the 2 ping. Toss that as well. Um, 
Oh, uh, I thought I drew the seven pin. I guess it was another round. Again, like here, um, the six month. It is potentially usable, but at the same time, um, I know that my at this point my hand is pretty much settled in terms of shape. So I have a three, four, five, a pair of fives. Don't see them as a triplet. Uh, three, four, five, a pair of fives. Um, uh, potential e peco here and a liang man weight here. So I have five blocks already set. So um, a six man wouldn't really help me um, in terms of building my blocks. Four man I could keep for a potential um, liang peco, but I'm not again. I'm not gonna agree. Just because I want to be holding on to a safe towel at this moment. Again, like looking at people's river, like if you see people tossing a lot, a lot of middle towels, it wouldn't be strange at any given time that they will just declare Richie. So I want to be keeping that in mind. Um, again, it's a little pushing it since people are constantly tossing out middle towels. And they could be um, a Dama 10 um, with a silent tempo at any time. So here I decided to. Um, I got it to temp myself, so I decided to um, just watch what people are going to do. So I'm just going to uh, dama temp myself for um, one turn or so. Um, I did, I draw the 6 mine here. Here's the interesting thing. I actually uh, cut the 3 mine to Riti. Um, reason being that um, I want to um, direct people away from um, the Souls or Pinzu. Like, well, Pinzu looks dangerous in my discard either way. But if I reach out on the three man, then maybe people will think, oh, is he waiting on the lower manzu potentially? Um, it's a little distraction. It's not too, you know, it effects might be uh, minimal or to no effect, uh, depending on who I play against. But um, I like, uh, you know, like a Kataki almost, uh, Kataki Richie. So that they know I'm uh, uh, instead of a Tsumogiri Richie, which they'll know that oh, he this guy was 10 pipe since a long time ago, right? So, um, and we just actually pop the Tsumodas. Also, remember the reason why I declare Richie here, uh, if we go back, is because my Shimocha declared Richie. So, my reach, um, actually, no, he reached after me. Sorry, uh, sorry about the misinformation. Um, so, does look like, um, my Shimocha was uh, in Tempai as well, so he just decided to chase. So, but waiting one turn has its own benefits. We got the Ipata. Things are looking pretty good for us. Um, for South, um, at this point, um, we don't want we don't want the dealer to pawn our tiles. So I toss out tiles that dealer might pawn first, in, rather than these um, uh, uh, seat tiles, seat, seat wins. Um, of course, keeping my own wind since this is a double South now. Um, Go by pure efficiency. Mm. Here's the thing: the the two so I could have potentially kept here, but um, we we, we could have had each e ten here with a two two four winning on three, but then that would require us to settle with a, a pair of fives and a triple of threes. And so I had to toss out the six man as well as the the, the three pin. I didn't like that option, so I just decided to small carry this. Um, I I'm not hundred percent sure if that's the right decision, but um. I wanted to either have value or have a really good shape with a 5-6. So, okay, but now, like, since I drew the 6, I completed a 4-5-6. So I can just, like, settle with um, this 5 so being my pair and then tossing out the 5-man um, to wait on two side away here. Um, I really don't, at this stage, I actually don't want to toss out the door at all. Just in case someone pawns it um, or takes it, I wouldn't be happy about it. Let's move on. Arichi comes down from my Shimocha. Here's where I have to make my decision. Um, do I have to? Do I want to push or not? Um, at this stage, I see um, all the six man out, so I just decided to cut it because there's no way that he is waiting on five eight man because six man is forming what we call a kabe or they're all out, right? So he couldn't be holding on to another six man to wait on five eight man with his um, six seven man um, tile in hand. So that is impossible scenario. Of course, it could be shampooing on the eight man or um, our Kanchan eight man weight, but I consider that as also very unlikely. Um, so I just decided to take that risk. Uh, but here though, the seven pin is um, certainly not safe. So I decided, to, okay, um, do I really want to push this anymore? Um, I told myself no and cut the six man. Um, the next tile to cut will probably be five man because six months are out and f I see three four months out there on the field. So um, a two five man weight would be also very unlikely, and a four six man Kanchan weight will also be uh, it's pretty much impossible because six months dead. Um, moving on, 
actually my Kamisha wins on the hot um getting that dealer um seven seven um pretty strong hand um but okay a new round we start off with a fairly decent hand got double down man weight um some metal tiles go ahead and cut the eight month because we don't need it for the seven month acceptance and pretty much we are all set with our blocks the five six waiting on four uh four seven three four waiting on two five six eight waiting on five eight and then the rest is just floating so i decided to cut all shit all the floating tiles just so that like i can be keeping a safe tile such as the haku mm, here i'm ishan 10 so so i would just like push my hand here mm, not much to see here call coming out from my uh kami chan here um i figured i had to like speed up a little but kami chan was really fast was a Thora 3 in his hand so actually turning this game around um i had no choice I thought my hat fan was uh, fast enough, but didn't seem to um, matter at that point. Here, um, very, it's very interesting. Um, actually, I can go back here a little bit. Like, the, you look at this hand. I actually remember now that um, I uh, paused a little bit here, trying to think what to do. Um, counting your blocks: pair of six, three, four, four, five. A pair of two, a pair of another pair of six, and a three, four, five completed block. So I think to myself, I actually have six blocks, so I need to be cutting a block eventually. And I think, okay, the rest of my hand is tying out except this one man. I'm actually gonna cut the one man here instead of waiting on the two man, um, have, or, and ha having that as my acceptance. And here I, I actually draw the seven ping. Um, the reason why I cut the three man here is because um, I'm thinking about drawing a six ping and then. Then I'll become a 2-2-4 two, two, ping with a 5-6-7 ping. So the 7 ping could actually help me complete this block a little easier. Uh, I have too many pairs. So I have to cut the 3 because um, I won't be keeping the pair for now. Just in case there is um, a cheat way to set chance. 7 pairs. Um, cutting the 3 and cutting the 6 wouldn't make too much of a difference. Just because I'll be cutting both of them anyways. Just to just leave the 4-5-6. Um, we just move on here. Um... I don't decide to keep the one for um, tie out reasons. I could make it to um, accept um, three ping and then have a two side away here, but I decided to not do that. So move on. Um, so I did actually draw six ping as I wished. So I just go ahead and cut the six month, getting to um, a rather nice each content. Now because uh, my Kami Chap pwned the eight month, I actually want to stop him from. Uh, winning further with his hand just because if he wins that hand pretty much um, he's in a very good position to take first place so i want to be just uh, winning my own tile hand um go ahead and cut that and wait on two five soul here um we really need to stop him basically and here i decided to push uh four seven man is by no means safe but i decided to push the seven man because eight man was pwned so um like a penchant weight on the seven man is like very unlikely so we just go ahead and cut it and then we get our towel um luckily um denying kamicha's um potential dealer uh, mangan again um, so that's very interesting again i might be skipping too fast from time to time but um i draw the nine month so i actually decided to um fully commit into um the sanshuku here 789 and uh, so therefore the six pin here is actually not necessary to build my hand so i go cut it also note that I have no pair, so actually at this point I just want pairs. Draw the five ping, I cut it. Draw the four ping, I cut it. Very unfortunate order, but like, we finally got a pair. Uh, so what I do is actually cut the one man here. Reason being that again, counting your blocks, your block, you're over um, five blocks. One, two, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, seven, nine, and two, two, four. That's six blocks. So definitely we want to be keeping one block instead of two blocks. Um, well, like, um, you know, having one stronger block instead of two weak blocks, we have six blocks in this case. And we know that the 789 is locked in, so we're not going to change that. So the only block that we can cut is um, one, two, one. So might as well just cut it now. If we get improvement on the Faisal here, I was actually planning to give up on the Sancho and go for Ping Fu instead. So that was another consideration. Here I draw the Dora, I'll just cut the two, one. Look here, draw a pair of Doras. So again, um, something I have to think about is um, what to do here. Um, I actually decided to cut the, um, um, sorry, a little fast, too fast. I decided to cut the four, so reason being that um, I actually want to cut the two, two, four. I don't want to be cutting the six, seven, which is two side of weight. And I don't want to be cutting my Sanshoku either, even though two, two, four is a stronger shape. Because of um, the greed play, I decided just to cut the two, two, four here. Um, 
see if we get rewarded um actually i managed to cheat eight soul here so we confirm ourselves into this uh, shape here and go ahead and cut the two soul again cutting another two soul keeping a safe tile in our hand because um two of the east are out so some of the cards reaches this is the first tile we're gonna toss um again yeah um there's another interesting decision um the eight month what do you cheat the eight month with do you cheat it with seven nine or do you cheat it with six seven um i chose to cheat it with a six seven um and toss the east to get temp pipe um the reason i'll explain now um there is benefit into uh, which cheating was um the seven the seven nine if you cheat with a seven nine one you cut this you still have the sun shoku and when you draw nine man you can actually um commit yourself into a junchan hand which will boost this hand to a mangan but this stage i actually don't want um force the junchan i want to cheat this and toss the east because um from other people's perspective let's say um from my kamicha um like he was suspecting that i have sun shoku but in fact i cheat with six seven which means that instead of sun shoku maybe um you know um this person oda cool he is waiting on actually um um shampoo atozuke on the uh, yakuhai instead of uh, actually uh, a sanshoku in his perspective so he'll be a little more careless around the seven ping discard um same with anyone else looking at my hand if i cheat with um the the seven nine and then they'll see the both of seven eight nines they'll be a lot worried about tossing out seven eight nine ping um and i don't want that to happen so yeah we basically we're trying to trick people into thinking that we're for example we're waiting on the hats which is not out there uh out, um on the field yet let's see if anyone had it um so yeah nobody had it so people might think oh this guy's waiting on hats and therefore be holding on to their hats instead of making their own hand right so that's the effect we want and we're still getting our sun shaku dora dora which is fine a dealer 300 will be a uh, 5800 or 6k sumo um go ahead and actually yeah they do cut the seven ping here lowering their defense of course when i draw the eight ping as well i just smoke it in the instant i don't want people to think that i'm waiting around this block um so that's just something that you can think about while you're playing your games a very nice win um on my end getting that 5800 uh, on the wrong um wow i started with a hell of sick hand um of course um i want to be committing into a bigger hand Partially because I'm dealer. If I win this hand as dealer, pretty much the game is over. Um, also, um, yeah, you got a greed with uh, a potential show sangue or die sangue, right? So go ahead and cut the eight ping here, and the rest is just cutting by efficiency. Um, we draw the seven man, great. Um, at this point, I actually want to um, call anything possible. Um, I actually decided to smoke carry the the seven man here, um, just to lower their um, you know defense. As well as you know, you know, like sometimes they look at your discard, they're like, "Is this guy going home?" So, but if I smoke Gary the seven man, um, then like um, they will be suspecting a little less. Sometimes you get punished for this kind of play when you don't go for the most efficient um, tau, um, tau acceptance. But um, here I'm seeing one three man accepting two man, three four man accepting two five man. Um, a shampoo on the yakuhais and these are just floating tiles and there's a completed some eight nine so my five blocks are already completed so i don't feel too bad about cutting the seven man here um there's just one way to disguise your uh, hoinsu so that people don't suspect it as much so here i actually get into tenpai into the um, two month i don't greet for the, the shosangen here just because um yeah I, I just want to be winning my hand and everybody else is trying to push their hand right so if i greet too much they'll just catch up and they'll just win their hand instead so i just get nothing so i reach it coming down from my payment here sitting at a very low point um we want to be just um we don't care at this stage and we need to win this hand in order to solidify our first place so here um yeah we just um again here um i actually choose to um uh, katakiri um cutting the same tile from my hand uh, reason being that um, I want people to think oh, I have folded my hand by tossing out a Suji to uh, a towel that my Shimocha have just discarded. So that will be like a really good effect um, into making people think oh, this guy's no longer Tempai. In fact, I'm still Tempai on the two man here. It's a lot of like, um, you know, mind games going on here. Um, and um, I toss out one man instead of three man. Um, three man is a suji but one man is a completely safe against shimocha as well as like against that um you know two man Smogiri. so 
This is still a little risk, but um, my payment actually was a pretty sick hand. Was um, I could reach it to the most seven pairs. Dora Dora Ura Ura, very nice hand. Um, that does put me in uh, range to uh, Kamishado, unfortunately, because I take the dealer penalty. So at this point, I just want to be winning like a one hand hand still, just to um, flush the rounds. Um, go back to carry efficiency. Um, here I actually decided to cut the four man. Um, again, I want to be greedy around the souls block. There's a potential um, e pay call here. Like if I can make a hand that has a Yaku on its own, then I don't need to reach it. That's also something I was looking at. So the four man cut um, definitely um, it was what I was planning. My pure efficiency definitely go with eight soul. But if I draw seven soul. Then uh, get the Ipeko potentially, that will be huge. So I decided to keep that possibility in my mind as I play. Um, tossing out the West. I draw another Dora. Hmm, so, so now I'm thinking, yeah, how's this many Dora? I should just go by efficiency. Go ahead and cut the Aso here. Um, take the Liang Shantan. Mm, moving on. Here, uh, actually, um, the Dora comes down. Even though I know I don't have a set um, Taiyang hand, I should go ahead and pawn the 7 ping. Um, again, the reason is a lot to do with mind games. Like, if you see somebody just pawn Dora out of the blue, you'll be like, holy shit, this guy is like, you know, hands big. I should be very careful. And look at my discard. It actually looks like my discard might be very fast. So, um, they'll be a little scared. So, I want them to be on more defensive side while I actually take my own sweet ass time and drawing all the tiles I need. So, um, uh, of course, I'm working towards this Tanyao um, because I actually need a Yaku. But actually, very unfortunately, um, Shimocha actually gets into Tenpai and Dama the ping flow on me. Um, it's so unfortunate for my hand um, because a consecutive one, one so toss as well. Um, if I were um, Shimocha, I probably would reach just because your dealer um, was 18k. But we're not here to judge other people's um, play style, so let's just move on. That's very unfortunate with dealing with uh, the painful here. Um, moving on to um, a bonus round. Um, this time, not so great of a hand. Um, I just still decided to play by efficiency. At this point, I would definitely want to be flushing um, the dealer's round. And unfortunately, because of that dealing, I fell to um, second place. Um, it would go by pure efficiency. Um, I think I cut the two man here. Although this 2-man is a completely block here. Again, we're kind of blocks and then we know that we're kind of over. Um, then again, this 2-man, I think, I'm not, right now I'm thinking this Niso might be actually better. Because we keep our, um, our possibility for, up for the Itsu. But at the moment I was looking at a Sanshoku actually. I remember now. On the 7-8-9 again. Um, because I, I know I can lock it in. If I get to keep the 7-9-9 and the the pair, um, the... 8-9 for the other suits. So I think that was a consideration. But I could just um, smoke the, the 3 ping as well. And I think because it's near the Dora, so it didn't decide to toss that. So it's just like a very good balance here that I was trying to keep. Um, I'm going to toss the 9 soul. Um, now that we drew the Dora, um, to keep the 7 soul um, okay there, as well as uh, efficiency. Um, yeah, so we actually did exactly what we wanted, which is drawing the Dora. Cut the 9-8. Right now I'm thinking if I can extend on the Manzu block, uh, I can potentially just um, toss out the pair of 9 or the um, or the 8-9 here to build a better shape of my hand. But unfortunately, the 3-man the, the got pwned. So I know the 3-man is dead, um, so I can't extend to the lower Manzu anymore. But I did draw the 6-man, so I decided to cut this. In favor of um, a potential shampoo weight on the nine mana six six soul, and if I draw anything near the six soul again, I can keep it. Okay, cut the nine eight, definitely. Now see um the the dealer pushing his hand, so I want to be a, a little wa wary of him. Also, I know that cutting manzu or like um no suji pingzu will be potentially dangerous at this point. Um, now this is a suji two soul. Go ahead and cut it. Uh, three soul is also Suji. Um, decided to push a little further. We draw the four soul here. Um, I should remember now. I was suspecting my Shimocha to actually have a a a toy toy hand, so I was like, what could be safe, 
right? He pulled a three man, so the chance of him winning on three six man is um sl uh, smaller. Given that if you have three three four five, usually you wouldn't pull a three man. Um, same with like the six nine is also like a one chance tile because the eight man I see uh, all three of them. Um, there's the last one which I don't know where it is. Um, it's just yeah to take a chance to cut the six man here. Um, confirming to the two side weight as well as uh, a potential five soul draw into tenpai and then I can just cut the six soul which is safe right. So move on. We draw another four soul. I know four soul just came out so I just go ahead and cut it. I don't really need another pair at this stage. Mm. Okay, so actually a dama from my Kamicha. Um, a dama from a Kamicha makes a lot more sense since he is in the first place. So definitely um, taking that round and um, trying to get out of this round as well. Um, if I win that one hand, hand, like a potential painful hand myself, I could have just tried to turn that around. But um, unfortunately, um, this time um, I'm figuring that I need um, a two, uh, two, about two hand. I am um, 2500 points away from my Kamicha, so I need to directly hit him for a 140 fu, a 1300 hand, or I need to small um, at least a 230 fu hand, 2k, in order to overtake him. Actually, 2k wouldn't be enough because of C order, so my Kamicha will be first by default, so probably small a 240 fu hand, uh, which is 2600. Mm. That's a lot of calculation, but yeah, like, um, I think we basically pretty much play by efficiency. We toss the east, which Mocha Pom. So I'm suspecting um, a Hoin Tzu. And then I toss the 9, nine ping here. Because I want to uh, extend uh, a good shape into the Sozu. As well as, like, you know, if, if I if I, if I am able to pawn the Haku, then I can just like toss the 3 soul and wait on the Dora itself. Which will be 2 Han by default. Um, again, um, and we draw this actually. We draw something that connects to the three soul. So we go ahead and cut the eight ping while still taking the four seven ping weight. It's very um yeah. And this point I see the door coming down. I was like, okay, might not have enough points, but at least um there is a chance where I can just like you know hack a palm. And it's a it's a door, right? Like it's it's a very awkward position because if even if I chi and get the tempai, it will be no yaku until I pull the haku. But on the other hand, if I pull the Haku and toss the, the, the Sanzo here, then I have the 5 8 soul weight, which is also very favorable. So, um, yeah, basically I cheated most because uh, most likely because it's like Dora. I'll go ahead and cut the 3, three soul. Um, a two sided no Yaku weight, unfortunately. At this point, I, I was planning to pull the Haku and toss the 6 soul. It's also safe against Shimocha. So, we're gonna just move ahead. Okay, unfortunately, Tayman declared Richie. Um, so this is very difficult, right? The six ping. Do I really want to risk the six ping when I have when I have no Yaku Tempai? Um, I said no to myself and I discarded a save tile, which is a one man. Um, I can actually rebuild this hand around the six ping if I were to um, discard one two. Um, was what I was thinking potentially. Toss the eight, so it's safe. Complete the five six seven sequence. Um. Uh, at one point, like we do have to decide whether we want to keep pushing this hand or stop. I draw the five man. Okay, so there, there's a choice between pushing this six ping or um, tossing the five man. The problem with six ping is it's also dangerous against Shimocha, and I want to deal with him. So I should go ahead and toss uh, Tomogiri the five man, which I know is safe against everybody. Um, also toss the three man. Um, instead of maybe for a potential push, I see all the two months pretty much and all the five months so i know that three months pretty much cut off a lot safer like uh, so there's no three six month wait possibility um but actually why i drew the seven month that's why i was like okay i have no surgery for this tile um and it's not necessarily safe we could be waiting on you know eight nine months waiting on the seven month at this point i decided i don't want to be taking any more risk um well the three month coming to the seven months is a lot safer because i already want to discard but 7 man, yeah, I didn't feel like pushing 7 man at this point. So go ahead and cut the safe 7 soul here instead. Cut that. Cut the east, which is also very safe. And then just cut the sun soul, which is also discarded earlier. So I take no 10 here. Um, yeah, in fact, um, Tweetman did have um, upper manzu in his hand. So 7 man would be potentially dangerous. Um, 
Especially if it's a dealer, right? If a dealer gets ranch out and take my points, he might even like go turn the game around on me. Actually, this this is very interesting. I actually thought it was a very sick hand. Um, is that a cut by efficiency? But I do keep the two because I know that I have um, pretty much um, all my blocks except for the six six man. And also, I need value at this stage so that um, either get like uh, two Yakko highs or if I uh, draw the Dora, right? So I decided to hold the two for value purposes. I actually draw the two. So at this point, we just it's an easy six man cut for us. We're just looking to um, point or Ching any tau at this stage. Um, it's actually a very difficult decision when I got to this stage. Um, I was like, do I want to grieve for a toy toy, or do I want to be um, going for like a actually a faster hand? I tend to cut the five soul because um, I rather take the seven eight soul liang man weight, and then I have the two uh, two sided weight here as well. The other two five ping, and then a pair of one and a pair of chong. So I decided um, I value the one ping over the five soul because one ping will be a lot easier to pong compared to a five soul, which is a middle tau. Now go ahead and cut the five soul here. Not waiting for the toy toy at all. I draw another pair. Kind of regret if I kept the the five soul here and instead of like cut the eight soul here. I'm, perhaps I could have gotten into Tempai with a Chi Toy, but I didn't want Chi Toy. I just told myself I didn't want Chi Toy because a Chi Toy Nomi is only a 1600. I had to reach it myself, so I tried to not do that. Mm. We draw the door out here, but again, we, I know that I have enough. Um, I have I have enough points. It's, there's 11, 1300 points on on the table, and I don't really need the door to make my hand. So I just cut it before it becomes uh, very dangerous. Um, I draw a two ping, advances my hand by one. And at this point, I definitely want to get a pawn or chi on any of these tiles to get into Tempai. Unfortunately, Kamichat declares Richie, but we're, we're gonna push. But even if we push, like, what we don't want to be getting into the epaps, we want to be um, cutting the 8 soul first, see if um, any tiles come our way. And um, do we push the 2 soul because of Suji? Now that 5 month comes down, um, I feel a lot better to push the 8 month. Um, I should be realistic in pushing the 1 soul. But the 1 soul... Um, well, the game was just over at that stage. But 1 soul is actually safe against everybody. Because Trayman also tossed a 4 soul. So... It was unfortunate that we didn't really get this win. But um, I think we made um, pretty much a good decision throughout the game. Took 2nd place. A little unfortunate because Trayman's... Um, some more our dealership, but um, yeah, overall, well played. So, yeah, hope hopefully I can do uh, more uh, video reviews like this. So yeah, um, see you guys perhaps next week for the reviews series. Bye bye.